Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you guys my everyday makeup routine. I'm going to link everything that I use down below as well as their um, drugstore counterparts because I use mostly high-end products in this video. As you guys can see, it's definitely giving skin. This is mostly skin, so if you're into that minimal, soft, not full coverage look, this video is definitely for you. We're going to get straight into it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. I hope you guys enjoy. So really quickly, I want to talk about Dossier. They were kind enough to send me over four perfumes. If you guys don't know, Dossier sells designer inspired perfumes at affordable prices. Um, you guys can use my code NIAG10 for 10% off as well as the 20% when you create an account as a welcome offer and you guys can use them both together so you can get a total of 30% off. Um, I love that they are making designer perfumes accessible to all people. Um, here I have Floriental Vanilla. It is based on the YSL Black Opium. If you guys don't know, YSL Black Opium is a little bit pricey and kind of hard to get your hands on. Every time I ever have tried to get it, it was sold out. So I've never gotten it. Um, they also send it with a small sample. And if you guys order a scent and you're not really sure if you like it, you can use the sample and test it out. And if you don't like it, you can send it back and you can exchange it for something else or you can just get your money back. But yes, they have iconic scents designer quality and no markup so these are about $30 um each I have a couple other ones but when it comes it has this card that comes with it and it tells you the notes for example the floriental vanilla top notes mandarin pear pink pepper and licorice so that's the scent that you're gonna smell overall the middle notes are jasmine and orange blossom and the base notes are cedarwood patchouli vanilla and coffee and that's kind of the scent that you're gonna smell a little bit once it starts to wear off that's gonna be more of the scent that you're left with i love the way that it smells um it's good for all seasons as you guys know certain scents come in and out of season and why so like opium is not one of them i'm so happy that i got these i'm gonna share a little bit more about them I'm going to share a little bit more about the different scents that they sent me. Um, I'm also going to be posting on Instagram about them, so check that out. But yes, don't forget, use my code NIAG10 for 10% off on top of your 20% off welcome offer. So I'm starting off with brows. I'm using my Sephora Micro Blade Effect Brow Pen in the color brown. Um, I really have full eyebrows already, so I just fill in like the little sparse areas and just make them even fuller. My eyebrows look literally the same. And then I use the brush on the Benefit Brow Pencil just to like blend everything out completely because the microblading pen does not have any brush that comes with it. It's literally just the tip. So I'm using my Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer in the color Tan. It is oil-free and it has SPF 20 in it. So, you know, you can use this and it will protect your face at the same time. I've literally been using Tinted Moisturizer since I started doing makeup years ago. I just put a small dab on my Beauty Blender and I blend it out. As you guys can see, it's literally a perfect match for my skin. Um, It looks flawless honestly and i could wear this with no concealer nothing like if you just want a little bit of something maybe to even out your skin tone this is absolutely perfect it is a moisturizer like it, my face feels good like i could put as much powder or anything on top of it my face literally feels moisturized it doesn't feel heavy or anything like that so if you have dry skin like me this is your bff
my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the color Caramel to underline my brows um, and to find them, cover up any sparse brows, hairs that are underneath my eyebrows. And when I do it, my eyebrows will look just so much cleaner. Now I'm taking my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the color Walnuts for my under eyes and I'm using the cute little TikTok hack where you put it on the side of your nose to kind of contour and then on the outer corner of your under eye to give you a slight lift. I already use just a tiny bit of concealer under my eyes but I started doing this and it's not too far off from the way that I was already applying my concealer but I do see like a slight difference and I think it's really cute. Now I'm spraying my Fix Plus and I fan it just a little bit, but overall I just let it sit for about three minutes so that it can dry to my skin and it'll bend out even better. I'm taking the outer corner of my makeup brush just to blend out my under eyebrows and then my under eye. And as you guys can see, like I didn't put any um, tinted moisturizer under my eye i just did it around the other side of my face because i didn't want it to be too cakey since the tinted moisturizer is already not very thick in coverage and neither is this concealer both are super lightweight and i didn't need that much coverage or anything so that's what i did So after I sprayed with my Fix Plus, I take my ColourPop Banana Powder, put it on my Beauty Blender, and I set it under my eyes. So now I'm taking this angled eyeshadow brush and I'm using my Juvia's Place bronzer in the color Yara to lightly contour my nose. It's just giving it some finishing. It's not really contouring it, but it gives me like some color since I don't really have much going on on my face. It's just a little something to give me some dimension, you know? So after brushing off the powder, I take my Juvia's Place palette in the color Lena. This is the um, Saharan Blush Volume 2 palette. And yeah, I use that instead of using the darker color that I had been using because I think it goes with my skin. It makes me look like a lot more fresh faced than um, when I was using B, although I still love B but it goes better with the look that I've been going for it lately. And as you guys can see, I just put it right under my eyes and a little bit up more. I always OD, so I always have to um, go back and fix it a little. And to fix that, I take my um, bronzer, same color Yara, and I just blend it out and blend it into my skin. And it all works out because I was going to put like a teensy bit of bronzer anyway. I'm not going for like a complete like snatched bronze look or anything so it works out perfectly Now I'm lining my lips with a little bit of cork that I have left from MAC. I only line the bottom and the top of my lip and the little cross in the middle so you can still clearly see the liner without it 
blending too much into the lip gloss. Now this is the final setting spray that I use so I get to set my liner, my face, all that all together. Now I'm taking my Dominique Cosmetics Pink Tea Lip Gloss. You can really use any pink pigmented lip gloss honestly i just like this one because it makes my lips feel like moisturized and it's pretty much the brightest pink that i have at the moment and i love how it goes with the cork or brown liner because i use other brown liners sometimes and i put my regular clear gloss on top of it just so my lips can look like super juicy My bags had me messed up, like they were betraying me. So I had to go back and put a little bit more powder. I made it like a little bit heavier than I did originally. And then I just wipe it off with my same brush that I used earlier to wipe off my concealer because I was not doing the bags. that's it for today's makeup look i hope you guys love it i love it as well um you guys can check out my other makeup videos if you want a more full coverage look but yes this is what it's giving today nothing but skin nothing but face just a nice little glow for spring for summer um honestly fall and winter too but it's spring right now um, don't forget to use my dossier code, um, NeaG10, as well as the 20% off welcome discount. Add that together, 30% off. Save your coin. That's all for today's video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already, and I'll see you in my next video.